Hey everybody, this is Chaplain Anthony Kelly, and today I'm coming from Italy, uh, in Rome is to be more specific, and I'm in my Airbnb, I'm on leave, I'm you know, not shaving very much, drinking my good uh, coffee, and, but I just wanna to talk to you about a couple things about supervision. Now, I just finished up my last call last night uh, to my clinical supervisor, and um, that they're retiring, and they're getting out of the army as a supervisor and going into the civilian realm of therapy and being able to not just be a therapist, but a supervisory therapist. And I just wanna to talk to you about the importance of that. Now, as soon as I graduated Webster University uh, at Fort Liberty, uh, I got a hold of my now leading supervisor, got a hold of that supervisor and uh, started clinical uh, supervisory time with, with them, earning my hours. And as I stand today, I have earned over 1,500 hours uh, in clinical supervisory time while in my utilization tour in Germany. Now, because it's such a high tempo, uh, I have a lot of clients. I run about 30 clients on any given uh, month. Um, and that means I'm seeing about 20 to 25 each week. And I quickly, just earned my hours uh, for, toward that. And, and what the hours mean is that you need hours for your state. Whatever state you're gonna land in or whatever states that you wanna have licensure in, each state is different. They have their own set number. For example, North Carolina requires a therapist to have at least 1,500 hours, which by the way, I already have. But I've already licensed with the great state of Texas. I got that done and uh, back in March, and I was able to uh, show them my hours, and they gave some waivers as well for previous uh, pre-graduation hours as well, and I was able to get licensed with them. Now, the importance of licensure is that you want uh, to be licensed in a state that maybe you're gonna get out of the Army, or you're gonna be able to use that and, and let the behavioral health and uh, mental health professionals within the Army know, hey, I'm a licensed provider. Uh, I'm not some fly-by-night type of chaplain, uh, so to speak, and I'm able to provide clinical care uh, to those who, uh, my clients who, who need my help. And so licensure is very, very important. I cannot practice in a state, say I'm out of the Army, I'm a civilian therapist. I cannot practice in a state without their license. So if I'm licensed, for example, in North or South Carolina, and I have a client in New York, unless that client is on a military installation, I cannot, and I'm an active duty chaplain, I cannot minister to them. I cannot uh, they see them as my client. Uh, you have to be licensed in your state, even if you're doing Zoom or some other platform uh, telehealth. And so I encourage each and every chaplain who's in the Family Life program now, or if you're considering it, immediately get supervisory time uh, right after you're done, graduate, post in your utilization tour, as you're earning those hours and seeing those clients, you need to have a supervisor. Uh, it's a continued process to earn your hours, otherwise your hours don't count. You're, the state will not count your hours unless you're supervised during that time, accumulating those hours. So I encourage you to uh, start thinking about that now. It is very, very important. And maybe you're a civilian uh, and you're a student in the master's program and you're watching this now and you're, you're just, you know, wanna see what's, what I'm about and, and what is this family life uh, gig about? And you're, you're try, want, thinking about where you're gonna be and what you're gonna do uh, after you graduate. That's the most important thing. It, it's, it's, it's very important. It goes across uh, the spectrum, whether civilian or military, you have to be supervised earning your hours for whatever state you wanna get licensed in. And in uh, another video, maybe I might talk about the, the actual test uh, the national exam that you need to take and uh, some people are prepared for it some people aren't and so you have to be prepared uh, for that and study hard and um, while you're in the program your internship program so it's earning your hours um, and so for us as army u.s army chaplains active duty 
our program to earn those hours post-graduation is a, called a utilization tour. And we are located in wherever it is in the, in the world. I'm located in Germany and I am earning my hours. I'm getting supervised for those hours. I bring my cases to my supervisor. We talk about those cases and discuss them and sharpen tools uh, that I can be a better counselor to them, a better pastoral counselor at that. And so supervisory time is important. So the overall message is get a supervisor, get them quickly post-graduation, get into a program uh, to, if you're a civilian to where you can start earning your hours. Don't lollygag, don't put it off. Um, you need to get at it immediately, chip away at it immediately, quickly get it done, have that drive, the determination to do what it takes to see your clients, to give them appropriate, excellent care, world-class care, and to be able to help them in their need, but also at the same time, you're earning your hours toward licensure with the state. So I hope this video helps. I pray that you can like or share it. And um, if there's anything I can do for you, uh, just jot down a comment. May God bless.